we've had a really cold night. Look at this, snow stars on the window. And the front shield is like... <laughs> okay, let's see if lady stars. Come on, baby, let's go. You got it. Ooh. Gotta work for it this time. It's ice on the inside, yo. <laughs> what? This is just weird. Okay, I'll keep going. All right, here we go again. This is just one of these days when you actually want to be threading the mountains and not have to work, but I guess I should not complain that much. The clock is about half past 12 and I'm on my way to, to work. That's pretty much it. I did some studies this morning. Yesterday I did not, so I think I'm up for a treat for tonight. I'm going to have to study pretty much the whole night just to get everything finished for tomorrow. And I have a few things to do, but for now, some hours of work. Yeah, that's it. Woo! It's done. I just sent my, 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 what do you call it? Projektarbeta. Google Translate, my best friend. Project work. That can be right. I just sent my documents for the second part of my studies and I can tell you one thing. If I pass this one, you can call me Yo Labero. I just like spammed a couple of things and just yeah, I do know so much about this, but I haven't used the right terms and like the right language at all. Whatever. It's done. I've sent it. If I pass this, I'll tell you. And you can comment Joe Labero. Because that's pretty much who I am if I pass. Okay, so finished up the work. I had my discussion group at the end of the day from 17 to 19. And as I mentioned, I didn't have high hopes. On top of that, the Wi-Fi broke down after one and a half hour, which meant that I couldn't join for half an hour in the end. So I pretty much don't know the result of everything, but I had the chance to present my my work and my documents and I just pray that everything will fall in place. Now I'm about to wrap up some dinner and tomorrow I will have my first on-call day. So I'm pretty stoked about that. But yeah, first things first. When the guacamole dip is like 20 Swedish crown, 2 euro. Mm. Mm. Oh, the best thing. So good. So it's the 21st of December and the city is starting to come alive. We have a lot of arrivals at the moment and I have some spare time since I'm working for tonight, so I'm on a chase for new, a new pair of shoes. And I think I know the right shop to find some. Well, we do have some shoes to choose. Huh? All the credit to Converse, but yeah, I think these guys will do the job so much better. There we go. Got myself a Christmas present. And first of all, thank you, mom. I got a new pair of shoes. So I won't be wearing this during the winter. And I will keep my feet dry and stay 
healthy. Thank you a lot, man. Love you. First on call shift. Closing up the office. Clock is 10 ish. And I'm going to grab one of the company's cars and head back home. So, wish me good luck. Yeah. This is exciting, though. Oh. Ah, it's all good. All good. Yes, lady, I'm sorry, but I have found a new one, a new girlfriend over here. She's so much prettier than you are. No, I'm just joking, lady. It's you and me forever, you know that, right? Just borrowing this and letting you rest for the night. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so first night went really good. I just had one call from another company that had a customer that was going with us that asked for the driver but that was so cool and I recently got a call from another of our, our drivers that was waiting for a customer which had already been picked up from another company since they had done a double booking so that was a bit annoying and sad but otherwise everything seems to be in order so that's cool first night finished it's quite easy to see which company has the most transfer cars the parking spot is full of them <laughs> Marzine doesn't show its best side I would say we have rain seven degrees I'm feeling bad for all the tourists that comes here for celebrating Christmas I won't get a white Christmas in the same sense at least won't get like the experience that it could have Okay, I'm about to go and hopefully get some shredding and I thought we can do a speed run from the point where I'm actually locking my door in the studio till the point when I'm at Avorias. Let's go! Okay, so I just made it to the bus station, the shuttle bus station. It took, took me three minutes to walk and the bus should be passing every seven minutes. Only clouds, seven degrees plus, and rain. It, it doesn't rain now, but it has been raining pretty much the whole morning. The good thing though, is when, when you get up to Avorias and like the higher levels, it usually gets much better. So let's just jump straight up and we'll see how the conditions are. Follow me up, let's go. Made it to the top and yeah, it's like, between rain and snow, conditions is way better though. For sure. Oh yeah, it's good, man. I went for the first ski with these guys today and yeah, just popped my binding. He was charging too hard. It wasn't even charging, man. <laughs> Another expense to add to this journey. Got too much stuff to take care of. Lady, she needs a lot of love, I can tell you. Oh, She's I screaming thought, now. I thought that was, thought that was two separate yeah. things. Like one really... Okay, so should I ski without a break and maybe lose my ski, falling or whatever, or should I go home? Stay. Stay. Ski without a break. Ski without a break. Let's go. <laughs> oh, all right, so just got a call from a customer asking for the pickup spot in a warrior's. And the clock is 2 in the morning and as I did 
I noticed that the phone has like 2% battery and it's just a random phone like it's nowhere close to an iPhone so I have to go back to the office to pick up a charger for this Samsung Greyhound. Good morning. It is Friday morning and it's my final hours before I get off for Christmas weekend. And I hope that you all have had a really good Christmas week so far. I figure a lot of you guys have traveled back home to meet up with your friends and your families and I gotta say that I'm a little bit jealous. I think I'll catch a couple of hours extra sleep today if possible. I'm not a good daily sleeper, but ah, I will start up with a really big and strong cup of coffee. That will probably make me going. So let's see what Friday has to offer. I mean, I don't have anything else to do, so I will probably ski even if it's really bad weather this week here in Mosina Vorias. I'm feeling a bit uh, for the guys that actually travel here for for Christmas, for vacation, you know? Because the slopes, I have experienced the slopes so much better than, than that is now. Um, but yeah. What to do? You can't control weather, right? One of my regular uh, meals for breakfast, it's banana pancakes. And we got quark, and we got pineapple, and we got finally peanut butter. Something that I actually picked up during the trip that is really nice to have. Even in the, if I didn't like it in the beginning. So I'm digging into this and then I'm going to look at some flight departures and arrivals to see that everything is in order is just received a message about the package delivery to the office I have no idea what that can be but I'm too curious to not go and pick it up straight away I mean it's Christmas so who knows what it can be? So let's go, lady. One more trip. Are you telling me that Santa stepped by? Yeah, and it's just Hello, the blue it's that. This is region of the world. <sighs> Merry Christmas, guys! We have Christmas morning, and <clears throat> I am uh, giving myself an extra treat with a great breakfast. As usual, we're doing banana pancakes, uh, a really strong coffee, of course, and I'm spicing it up today since it's Christmas. I'm doing myself some bruschetta because I'm about to go to the slopes later on, and I won't uh, want eat uh, lunch until later, so that's why. <laughs> This is the package that I picked up from the office. And since it's the 24th of December, and this is probably the only package that I will receive, most likely, I'm going to open this up before I hit the slopes for a couple of hours. My best guess is that it's like candy or something. But let's see. Swedish candy would be amazing. It is! It is! Okay, so we have a classic Jules gum. Chili nutter. We have a sea salt lint chocolate. Also a banger. Do exist here though, but I should never buy this myself. It's too expensive. I pretty much know it doesn't exist in uh, Europe. And it's candy that you actually put it in your own bag. I don't know what you call it. Lösgodis is the name in Swedish. Okay, to explain it, in France and in Europe, you only buy candy on bags, but in Sweden you actually can like choose every single candy by yourself. And it looks like this. 
You get a candy bag. And this is so good. This is actually really good. And I have a, a letter, I think. Let's see. Yeah. So this is my my lovely grandpa. Is that right? Yeah, my mom's dad. And that's probably one of the things that I will miss most of the Christmas, just to hang out with with the family, eating really good Swedish Christmas food. Yeah, so I'm a bit sad that I didn't get any cold meatballs here, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is great. Now I have a lot of things to eat. So a lot of calories stacked up. I probably hit the slopes two hours, even if the conditions is really bad. Like I mentioned, it's raining like way too much. Okay, that was it. That was pretty much my, my present opening thing. See you later. The rain has just destroyed the mountain, man. We have like pretty much no snow left. Some of the slopes are closed. And yeah, I met a guy in the lift on the way up. He's like, this is the worst conditions we've had in four years. So with that said, not the best Christmas ski. And I would say, I, yeah, as I mentioned a couple of times, I'm feeling so sorry for all the guys that paid a lot of money to go here, have an accommodation, and was looking forward for skiing, and now it's not possible, man. But good thing I have like three more months, so just waiting for the snow to drop. And yeah, I mean, comparing this to last week, from a week to another, from a night to another. Yeah, it's a shame. But you can still do some skiing, I guess. Ah, woo. That's episode four. Hopefully we can find some more snow and some more powder in the future. And I have a thought about the next episode that might be something special, something else. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and like the clip. Now I'm going to eat a lot of candy and I might go downtown later to get some Christmas feeling and I think that I will do some FaceTiming with my family and some of my friends from back home in Sweden. Have a really really nice Christmas. Take care of each other. See you next week guys. <laughs>